Hello world. Welcome back to the Subway 23 Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, as usual, this is Jason. Uh, and we just took care of Aloth's issues, at least hopefully. And now we're moving in to find the member of, or hopefully find a member of this cult. Uh, whatever her name is, I can't think of it at the moment. Greetings. A young Orland woman traces her fingers along the spines of the books in front of her row by row. Her motions quick and skittish like a bird's. She doesn't notice you until you're nearly upon her. Oh. I'm just Master Azo's assistant. He'd know more about that, but he's in the middle of expert. I mean, busy with some patients. You wouldn't be able to see him until he comes out of the, from the patient ward. What do you do here? Mostly help Master Azo set up and clean his his equipment. I also keep his office organized when he's too busy to do it himself. Me, I'm just uh, and farewell. All right. So we'll run back up and talk to the statue, hopefully. to some uh, good information. Or at the very least, a way into the patient ward. <sighs> Greetings. Experiments. Cademan Azo is in charge of the patient welfare now. He's not authorized to run any more experiments. I had hoped he would be one to guide your inquiry. He'll be in his office or in the patient's wards. I am granting you immediate access so you can find him. No doubt you will wish to speak to him further on this matter. And I, for one, am curious as to what he might have to say. Tread carefully in the wards. There are a few dangerous cases. I would ask also that you do your best not to agitate the patients. They are... They're, they have enough troubles as it is. All right. Thank you for making me load. <clears throat> for loading, having to load longer than the conversation took. says I can go in. A flesh construct, huh? Patient. Patient. Looks like he's got a dagger of some sort. Patient. Another flesh construct.
So I assume I'm going to confront this man. And he's going to set all these flesh golems and wicks or whatever they're called onto me. I need the key. set patients off. So I'm a little nervous about talking to them. But so far they're all generic patients. But maybe that's the game. I'll have it in no time. Doesn't seem to see us. Margrin's fire Already casts does. light in dark places. The work of a moment. Hmm. All right, we're gonna save real quick. In the sanitary home. face balding man turns to face you his upper lip is pulled upward slightly as by his pointed nose exposing his upper teeth when he scowls what is the meaning of this <laughs> you're going to get a lot of looks asking questions like that in cemetery for the unbalanced in truth i have spent little time treating them since i've been reduced in my capacities you might have luck with some of the more functional patients. They tend to congregate in the main area just past the entrance to the patient wards. That's none of your concern. Did one of the others put you up to this? Odnor? That smug weasel? Things went wrong. Everything. I don't know. I'll never know. He spits on the floor as if we have a bitter taste from his mouth. I don't have time to give you directions. Go bother somebody else. Yes, well, Ethelnor hasn't done much good for anybody since he had his soul moved into an inanimate objects, so I fail to see why I should let that sway me. If Animancers all followed the commands of their leaders, where would we be? We'd know nothing. I never thought I'd find myself in an agreement with a statue, but... Nathelmer's right about this fellow, at least. How easily, how easily ambition masquerades as prudence. I bet he's fooled even himself. Indeed. Many lives have been spent in such pursuits, writing treatises and poems. But tell me this, how does one verify the truth of a poem? If some philosopher stumbled across the meaning of our existence, how would we know it from a false one? These are wasted lives. In animancy there is progress. We are... Who will solve Widewen's legacy? Some church? Some warrior? It will be an animancer or it will be no one at all. Interview patience. All right. Oh, did I not hit that? Uh, I guess she was standing right there, wasn't she? Ah, there's a named one. The curved spine twists this woman's posture forward. 
Her greasy hair draped over her large eyes like vines. She smiles at you. Must be visiting someone. A friendly visit, I hope. Oh, I like him very much. Many anim animancers could care less about their patients. Look at us like vermin for their experiments. But Master Ozzo treats us like humans, even though even the very sick. You can tell us you can tell he does this to help people. He's helped me understand a great deal about myself, and I know he he's done the same for others. It's too bad what they, they did to him. He hides it well, but I know he's still affected by it. They don't like to talk about it. But there was an accident. He was said to be one of the brightest in the deer wood. <clears throat> that was his reputation here, and that was what brought me to seek treatment. People say it was ego that drove him to try and solve the legacy, but that's hogwash. Even if he was a bit of a showman, he loves his homeland. He thought he could help. He wasn't one to speak. He wasn't one to speak of his work. Sus suspected his colleagues might have to try to have tried to steal it. But he told me once that he had figured out a way to create a soul. Not a soul exactly, mind you, but how he put a proxy. I think he called it. Had some machine that could draw energy out of the very ether. Can you imagine? The point is, I was going to help with the leg with the legacy. It was going to make Hollowborn into something easier to love and care for. Gods know that's something we need. Do you know what they call that? what they call those empty little babies in Andra's gift they call them buoys because some of them are found floating face down in the water these are mad times anyway Master Azo has scheduled a public demonstration of his work in Copper Lane he was so excited and then the next day he was locked in his office turning away visitors I heard he stopped seeing patients I don't know exactly what happened I don't have the heart to ask him, but I'm glad you're letting they're letting him treat people again. Well, there's Batixa, who relives a murder she committed more than five lifetimes ago. Idleman, who they say only has half a soul, and who was found collecting the faces of others because he believed his own to be a false one. Graham. He speaks in a language no one understands and wails at night sometimes. Well, yeah, I suppose. But nothing that didn't they, they didn't volunteer for. Master Azo lets, lets us know that a number of patients in the North Ward have volunteered for a new therapy that would be escorted to his laboratory to receive treatment. The North Ward has our most troubled cases. <clears throat> I'm glad some of them get chosen to help or to get help. Uh, it seems to me I've gotten it's gotten quieter over there since it started. It's Graham I see them taking in the most. He struggles, but he always was a bit of a wild one. I don't want to say. You'll think less of me. These last few years haven't been kind to me. They haven't been kind to anyone, really. I try not to think about it as personal. I lost my husband and both boys in the Saints War. My daughter, the legacy, took her before she was ever mine. I made do. What else can you do? I moved into a tiny place in Andre's gift. Got my mending clothes on and, and kindness of strangers when I had to. On the kindness of strangers when I had to. But I was surviving and the gods were watching over me. I could live with that. Then one day, this noble woman comes in, wants this fancy gown fix, gorgeous thing, a shade of blue I, I'd never seen before. Only I had. I looked at it and it reminded me of something. I had what they called an, an awakening. I remember being a noble woman myself in another life. People doting over me, men doting over me, me, the best food, the most beautiful home, all those things you'd never dare to dream of, they were mine. It was poison knowing that. All those things I I had that I, I'd ne I'll never have in this life. <clears throat> it did something to me. My food started to taste rotten. The walls in the little room seemed to close in around me. 
I stopped being able to sleep in my own bed. So I came here. It was that or break into an estate and start ordering servants around. It seems like so, such a silly thing to worry about. You don't have to tell me. But I can't get past it. And I start to wonder, did the gods choose this life for me? And if so, what terrible thing must I have done to deserve it? The strange part is, I think even the best wouldn't be good enough for me anymore. I think it must have gotten to the point where I was that noble lady. They like to keep them separate. I don't know that I've ever seen the guards allow a visitor. Just Master Azo. You might ask him. He's very sympathetic. Is that the North Ward? Because it's... Or that could be. What is it now? Out of the question, those paces are isolated for a reason. She's a patient! That... Fine. Speak to them for all the good it'll do you. Fairly sane patient. Level headed, I guess, would be the right word. This isn't the treatment that they were promised upstairs by the cushioned seats and lush carpets. Is that the cure for soul sickness? To be thrown into a cell and subjected to the whims of your captor? I'm sure they have their share of family members they'd rather forget. It's the source of all the knowledge you were so giddy about. Okay. A willy adolescent boy, a willowy adolescent boy stands in the center of the cell, gawkish and stoop shouldered. His stare, he stares straight ahead. Again. is close you coil yourself up and, and spring forward passing out of the boy's body as though you were remembering you rush toward the golem now bodiless as a gust of wind you 
step heavy, heavy footed down the corridors unheeded by the other constructs blah 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 speaks and the crowd applauds with enthusiasm worthy of a hero's entrance bear witness he says bear witness uh, and he pulls the lever the machine shivers and sparks and beads of sweat roll down the side of the but the crowd's apprehension quickly give way to awe as the crystal globes fill with a radiant mist that casts the entire theater aglow he opens a vowel and the glow crawls through the tube along the length of a copper wiring uh, that runs the beneath your armpit you feel nothing when it reaches you as it should be for you know for you have been leading his work astray periodically for some time altering notes and settings and playing puppeteer for hollowborn Drive the head down. Nearly twitches on the ground. Satisfied, you depart the corpse in search of another unsuspecting host. Who could put their faith in animancy now? Well, that's pretty. You are yanked suddenly back to reality, and the once catatonic boy in the cells looking directly at you. There is no mistaking now that it is the soul of the man who caused your awakening that gazes out from the borrowed husk. Is that so? He makes no effort to hide his disinterest, but he continues to search your eyes. He makes a slight grunting noise and his eyes soften for an instant and it seems for the moment he recognizes you. He opens his mouth to speak, then seems to think better of it. What he was about to say, his jaw tightens. I know your look, your hunger, hunger for answers that elude you, it gnaws at your soul, it usurps your reason for being, you are like everyone. I will help you let go. I will, yeah, I'll help you let go. He dodges backward with a startling grace, putting himself out of reach. Only his face there is no malice, only the dispassion of a farmer putting down a sick animal. Then suddenly he slumps forward. I shall. Is this my face? Tell me. This is not my face. All right. This man has the look in his eyes of a hunted animal, and at your pro, he staggers backwards. To the far corner of his cell, halfway appearing, he 
cries out a bizarre primal utterance like nothing you've ever heard or nothing you have heard mutilations of animancy crueler than any torture to disfigure the soul Project outward toward the main soul in front of you, merging with its its confusion and fear, becoming yours. You're in the cell. A key turns. The door creaks open uh, on neglected hinges. Thoughts come to you in waves, incomplete, broken, fearful. Standing at the door is a rotund, balding man. His upper teeth and pointy nose remind you of a rat. He beckons, apologetic. You don't want to go anything else in your mind it's a single word and the word is no but it dissolves before it reaches your lips you press your back you press against the back wall cornered you cry out in the darkness you fight against unseen restraints <clears throat> you cannot move your arms or legs the man walks into the room carrying a lit candle its meager flame casting long shadows across books and machinery Straps bind your arms and legs. Cold metal circumscribes the crown on your head and the breadth of your chest. The man is sorry. He is in need of raw materials. They dismantled his work, and he needs another source. He needs to show them he was right. He thanks you. Then he turns a knob, and you feel yourself begin to crack from within. You can feel the pieces of you torn away like having your insides chewed by a horde of rats and you are screaming a scream you can barely hear another night heavy footsteps outside your door coming for you you look through the slit in the door the flesh giant artificial being just outside but facing left facing the end of, end of the hall the boy there the boy looks with interest at the giant then collapses to the floor like a shed snake skin the giant convulses for a moment then writes itself turns away and leaves all right these poor people is that the cure for soul sickness to be thrown into a cell and subjected to the whims of your captor? Alright. Quick save.
Don't make me kill him. Come on. Oh. me up. Yes. That's so. Uh, so he's got the same answer no matter what we say. Grave Dalphilothili. How may I help? Hmm? Hi? My wounds remain! Really? Okay.
Indeed. All right. Insect swarm, cool. If it makes you rest easier. So the question becomes, am I going to have to kill the rest of the golems? Oh, yep. I think I am. Let us end this! I have them! Hmm? <laughs> Step of this particular mission is. been experimenting on patients against their will, mingling their souls. I've witnessed it with my own eyes. Imagine the value if I succeeded. I had something that could make all these hollow infants into something like a real person. And with a few more patrons and a few, few years of research, who knows? No one has come that close to with the legacy. That's why I have to continue. I trust that you'll do what's right for Deerwood. Huh. Brave 
So there were, that was supposed to be a room full of little creepy guys, undead thingies, children, and they're not there. Which begs the question, where did they go? Grave thou philosophy. flesh golems now. I'd like to know where all the patients went. Because I know I didn't kill them all. But I can get this now. I'll have it in no time. The work of a moment. She is. Not for now, so. All right, so they're still there. The guards are gone. Now. Here's the thing. Now that I'm not going to attack him, I'm not going to be judge and jury. But uh. All right, so. may hold for this place. I'm grateful you were able to dispatch the threat before there was a loss of innocent life. eventually resulted in another scandal. No, the laden key would have found a way to interfere with the sanitarium even without Azo. These two seem very similar. I should have known better than to isolate him. Of course he would resort to deception. The wiser thing would have been to allow his experiments with close oversight of course. A mind like his must be allowed to, a chance to create. So is that it? Hail, traveler! Okay, so is this done? Discovered the patient had been possessed by the man I've been searching for. He must be subdued so I can learn. Uh, I think he's dead, right? 
Or was he just lying there? Okay, okay, good. Some of you are back. How do you do? Or is that an error? Tell me I didn't just mess up, create a glitch. Cause I don't see this guy. Anymore. I mean, pretty sure his course was just... Maybe his body is still out here. Or maybe he's still out here. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened here. Or where I'm supposed to go next with this particular mission. And it's fairly late, so I think I'm going to have some dinner. And we'll come back. Hail, traveler. area. Make sure I didn't miss something over here. Double check, make sure I don't have to backtrack because I put something screwed up. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. I will see you in the next episode.